and he subdued them, and he made them live according to the laws of the Jews, just like his father did that to the Edomites, and the Canaanites, and the Syrians. So we got another nation. But the question is, who are the Algerians, right? Go on over to the Bible Dictionary, page 272, on the Arturia. And you're going to see who the Arturians are. See, they don't deal with any of this. We already got Edom, a black nation, keeping and incorporating the Israel, the laws of Israel. We already got the Canaanites being forced to do it. We already got the Syrians being forced to do it. Then we got the Arturians being forced to do it. Who are the Arturians? Go ahead and read. Arturia. Uh-huh. Land of Jether. Land of Jether. We're going to see who Jether was. Go ahead. A small province in the northwestern border of Palestine, mm -hmm. lying along the base of Mount Hermon. Mm -hmm. Only mentioned in Luke chapter 3, verse 1, mm -hmm. Jether, the son of Ishmael. Oh, Jether who? The son of Ishmael. Go ahead and read. Gave his name, like the rest of his brethren, to the little province he colonized. So who was the Arturian? Ishmaelites. Ishmaelite. What color for the Ishmaelite? Black. So you got yet another black nation being converted over to the ways of the Jews. So all of these black nations practicing the ways of Israel, but you know today that you are Israel. All of these nations practicing the ways of Israel, but you know that you are Hebrew Israelite though. You ain't no possibility you can be an Israelite. Ain't no possibility you can be a Canaanite. No possibility you can be an Edomite. No possibility you can be a uh, Syrian. You know that you Israel. Give me a break. That is wishful thinking. You don't know if you're a Hebrew Israelite. You could be from any one of these nations. And in a moment, we're going to show you that these nations went right into captivity with Israel. So if they went into captivity with Israel, and we are the children of the captives, that means we could be children of either one of them. I could be an Ishmaelite. I could be an Edomite. You don't know, just like you don't know who you are. If you say you know who you are, what the documentation is. Show us some documentation. These events that you read about right here happened over 2,500 years ago. And you got documentation dating back to the individual that gave birth to you? Let's be serious. They don't know any of this stuff. These black Hebrew Israelites are a joke. Jumping up, I am Israel. Prove it. I just believe it. You don't know. All these black nations practicing the work on uh, the ways of the Jews and winning the slavery with them, which we're going to read. Let's move on. Let's take a look at something that's very interesting. Let's go back to Josephus. We're going to war. 5.6.1 and paragraph 258. I mean 248. 5.6.1. We're dealing with the event that was going on up to 70 A.D. From like between 63 A.D. up to 70 A.D. And all Hebrews know that in 70 A.D. That's when Titus destroyed Jerusalem and carried the Jews into captivity. But they only focus on the Jews. They don't mention that other people went into captivity with the Jews. Josephus does. As a matter of fact, they don't even understand that the main people that were fighting against the Romans, helping the children of Israel fight against the Romans, was the Edomites. And they shared Israel's punishment for fighting alongside Israel. We know one of those punishments was captivity. But don't take my word for it. Let's read it in history. See, we don't just give you opinions here. We don't give you how we feel. We give you facts. That's why it's called the absolute truth. No room for lies or personal opinions. Go ahead and read. This is, at, this is War 5.6.1, paragraph 248. Go ahead and read. Now the warlike men that were in the city and the multitude of the seditious. And the word seditious means rebellion. Go ahead. That were with Simon were 10,000. Now this guy Simon was an Edomite. And he's in the city. He's talking about Jerusalem. As a matter of fact, he is within the gate of the temple. He is one of the people guarding the temple trying to keep the Romans out. But let's see who he was working with. Go ahead. Besides the Idumeans. Besides the who? Idumeans. This guy was an Idumean ruling over the Idumeans, the Edomite. But go ahead and read. Those 10,000 had 50 commanders over whom this Simon was supreme. It said those 10,000 had 50 commanders over whom this Simon in Edomite was supreme. Go ahead and read. The Idumeans that paid him homage were 5,000 mm -hmm. and had eight commanders, mm -hmm. among whom those of greatest fame were Jacob the son of Sosus and Simon the son of Catholus. So this is 